first of all, we're doing this a little differently than we normally do, but still important for folks to know about hurricane proofing their homes. What are you hearing from clients now as we're dealing with approaching hurricane season as well as dealing with COVID-19? Well, it's pretty appropriate that we're doing this from our homes because that's what I'm hearing from the people that we see and we meet with still is now more than ever this year, it really shows families the importance of protecting their family. We're doing so many things to you know, isolate ourselves and keep everything safe. And this, unfortunately, as a Florida resident, is part of keeping your family safe. So probably this year, more than any of the years before, uh, folks are recognizing how important it is to protect their home and their family. Are you doing business any differently with this pandemic? Absolutely. I mean, obviously, the safety of our employees and the folks in the community that give us the opportunity to meet with them is so important to us. So obviously, we show up at, the, at people's homes with masks and gloves and sanitizer uh, to make sure that we're all safe. We all certainly want to sit be safe and we're also um, limiting the amount of folks that we'll see in a day as well. Um, we, want, we recognize how important it is to, to see people and help them protect their home for this upcoming hurricane season, but we also want to keep you know, our employees safe and the, and the people in the community safe as well. So we really have a limited schedule. And when people are starting to think about hurricane season, you know, we had an early season storm or preseason storm really with Arthur. Did you start getting more calls when that kind of was a wake up call? I know so many people have been thinking about the pandemic. It's almost been easy to forget about hurricane season coming. Yeah, it, it, well, there's two things. Yes, that, that little scare of a potential storm was one thing, but it's also so many folks are at home right now and they recognize this year, A, the importance of keeping our family safe, but also if we were to get a storm this year, unlike years you know, in the past, or you can't go, where are you gonna go? You can't go to a hotel room, you're not gonna travel. You're certainly not gonna be in a shelter uh, with four or 500 other people. So uh, folks are recognizing this year more than any other years you know, previously that you know, we're stuck at home and we wanna be safe and we wanna protect our loved ones and our family and it's so critical right now to do that. And so what do we need to be looking for as we walk around our home, as we're getting ready for hurricane season, before a storm comes, what do we need to be looking at with our doors and windows? Yeah, and that's probably one of the things that also folks are recognizing. They're spending more time at home now than ever. You know, there's areas of their home that all of a sudden they're seeing just to get away from some of their family they've been together so long. So they're recognizing some of the more vulnerable spots. Um, they're looking at their windows, some of the ones that aren't sealed properly or don't close as well or don't lock. Um, some of the things, maybe if you have trees or something that you might be concerned with around the perimeter of the yard. So folks are starting to recognize and be more conscientious about things as it relates to their home and their safety, probably this year more than ever before. And there are some areas of the home that we've talked about in years past that are more vulnerable, you know, around corners. Talk about that a little bit, why it's so important to have those windows and the corners done properly. Yeah, absolutely. And that's probably one of the things that we recognize when we have the opportunity to walk around. And this year, again, when we do meet with folks, most of the appointments that we go on, we're spending a lot of time outside with the homeowners, um, just for everyone's safety, staying outside and keeping a nice distance from each other. But it's given us a real good opportunity to really address concerns. And that corner of the home is always a vulnerable area because of the way the winds uh, react around that corner in a storm, you know, it intensifies around that corner. And you can always see that and as a homeowner, you can kind of like push on the windows in the middle of your home and you'll usually see a difference uh, with what's already been damaged a little bit. You know, it hasn't been breached or you haven't seen real catastrophic damage. But you can see just around the corner how the weather affects that, how it intensifies around the corner of the home, whether it's a door or a window, it's usually a little bit more compromised than the other areas of the home already. And when we're talking about windows getting breached, it's not just a broken window that we're talking about. Once that window is breached, then the storm is your, in your home and that can cause major roof damage. So talk about that and why people need to pay attention to what grade of windows they're getting. Yeah, and that's why we really like to do the, the walk around with the home to really try to address some of the concerns and, as well as look at some, some of the areas with the roof and, and maybe a vulnerable area of the roof. So, you know, folks that we meet with, they want a safe room, they want to make sure that they're protected. And, and we certainly want to recognize that once that storm gets into your home and one window were to breach or one door, you know, now you have a 240 mile an hour hurricane, yeah. I'm sorry, uh, into your home, 140 mile an hour hurricane. <laughs> Let's hope we don't have any 240 mile hurricanes this year. The way 2020 is going though, anything is possible, right? Yeah. <laughs> we certainly want to recognize that the storm is inside the home, then it has nowhere to go. The walls kind of try to trap it into the house and it blows the roof off the house. So we've seen that unfortunately in past hurricanes. That's certainly something that we want to prevent by replacing the windows and protecting and making our home more safe. 
And so for folks maybe who have just moved into a home with new construction, just because it's new construction doesn't necessarily mean you have hurricane grade windows, correct? Yeah, unfortunately that's the case too. Often a lot of folks in, in Florida, you know, they believe because the home was built, you know, in a certain time for a re relatively newer home, um, that it does have some sort of hurricane protection. And unfortunately we're seeing time and time that they don't. Um, so we really, again, want, want you to recognize what you have, what you don't have. You know, we still have time to prepare right now, although we're getting close. Um, one of the things that's making it difficult during this hurricane season, unlike in the past, is, you know, because of some CDC regulations, manufacturing, manufacturing plants can only work at 50% capacity. So we're getting into hurricane season, and for folks that want to protect and, and prepare for the season, you kind of have to do it now, whereas in the past, we had a little bit more in June and July where we can still get you installed for August, but right now we're pretty up against it as it relates to the timeline and getting everything, you know, permitted, manufactured and installed in time for, you know, late July, early August. So if you want someone to come out and take a look at your home, what do you need to be looking at as far as licenses and insurance and things like that to make sure that you have someone legit coming in and doing your windows? Yeah, again, it's so important for homeowners to recognize who they're dealing with, especially this year. Because of these guidelines, and, and you know, we're here in lead time for windows for six, six weeks, ten weeks, some manufacturers 12 plus weeks. So obviously the bigger, more reliable, reputable contractors are going to have access to that, you know, those products a little bit more easy than uh, some of the other ones. So make sure you're, you're dealing with a licensed contractor, somebody that's been in business a long time, you know, somebody that, you know, does a large volume of business and have a lot of uh, installation teams as well. So that we can, so that they can get to you in a timely manner to have it done for this hurricane season. It's probably more important this year than in the past. And these type of windows can also perhaps maybe save money on insurance and things like that. Yeah, we see that, and we have the opportunity. We 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 install about ten thousand homes a year, protecting folks and our families here in Florida uh, every year. So we get a lot of different feedback as far as their savings, not only from homeowners insurance. But depending on what window they chose, they save a lot of money on their energy bills. So they start to keep some of that, some of that money that they're, you know, literally throwing out their windows. It's, it's better to keep it home and keep the utility company. So we've seen a big difference with that. All right. So bottom line, if you have any doubts, you can get someone. You guys can come out and do a walkthrough. Just because we're doing social distancing doesn't mean you can't still come and check out your windows and get people set up for hurricane season. Yeah, again, I can't stress it enough how important it is this year. You know, we all recognize how important the family is more than ever, right? We all, we're doing so many things right now to protect our families and keep everyone safe. And unfortunately, as a Florida homeowner and resident, this is part of it. And we recognize with the hurricane season coming, you know, keeping our loved ones safe and protected is, is even more critical this year than in the past. Is there anything we didn't talk about that we need to touch on? Just we still have time. I mean, you, you know, there's so many things that we can do, and it's so many, it's so many, it's so rewarding to see some of the things people are doing already to make sure we're all safe. And this is just another part. So uh, anything we can do to help, you know, we're happy to do so safely and uh, make sure uh, things are done properly and that you're protected. Awesome. Thank you so much. It's so weird not to be walking through a house this year, but you know, I think we, yeah, I think we got everything. You guys have finance, you have financing or financing options, right? Do you want to touch on that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're very grateful for a lot of the lenders that we deal with that have been such a big part of our success and helping so many people in the communities over the last you know, decade. I mean, they really stepped up now more than ever to offer really great financing options for folks. Uh, to get things done, especially for this hurricane season, where we can hold off payments and the, and the lenders have been so so overwhelmingly great to hold off payments till you know the beginning of 2021 and even later into the year in 2021. So there's so many great opportunities right now, so you can still protect your home, your family, and get get back on your feet and make sure you're okay and not have to worry about a payment for you know six, 12, 18 months from now. Right. With everything going on, the last thing you want to do is deal with hurricane issues. <laughs> right. Yeah, but one of the things that we hear, and we probably hear from so many homeowners again this year more than ever, is, you know, it's not the year to be displaced from your home. You know, we're all home, and, and how, how terrible it would be if we have, you know, a catastrophic hurricane, and now we can't even be in our home. Where are we going to go? So um, it's, it's, really, it's really difficult, and it's something that we all have to address and be prepared for.